Hello everybody and welcome to this week's quick query video. This week's question, what is the difference between a tie back and a tie forward? My name is Simon Hennessy here at Angus Eli Jackman Hospital. So both of these topics are covered in more detail in other videos available on our YouTube channel. So the tie back and the tie forward procedure are alike in name, but after that it, it, it kind of stops there. The tie back procedure is generally performed for, uh, for inspiratory conditions of the upper airway, most notably paralysis of the throat leading to collapse of usually the left retinoid cartilage into the airway which causes an obstruction of the airway and an inability of the horse to take in enough oxygen during exercise leading to a roaring noise and uh, usually exercise intolerance. To counteract this problem, we place a suture through this affected cartilage and we tie it back out of the airway so that the horse is able to get enough oxygen into its lungs. So the tie back is for inspiratory conditions. The tie forward is performed for expiratory conditions, most notably intermittent dorsal displacement of the soft palate. What we aim to do here is place sutures around the sides through the thyroid cartilage of our throat and tie it forward, anchoring it to our hyoid apparatus or wishbone between the two lower jaws. This brings our throat forward, increasing the overlap with the soft palate, making it harder for the soft palate to flip up and obstruct our airway. And so again, our tie forward is used for expiratory conditions. So while the tie back and the tie forward sound very similar, they are used for very different reasons and very different diseases of our upper respiratory tract. And that's it. Join us next week when we'll talk about the other miscellaneous conditions of the upper respiratory tract and bring our videos on disorders of the upper respiratory tract to an end. Talk to you then.